Now in terms of downloading the software, at least on PC, I would highly recommend downloading it on the Microsoft Store, as you can see here. You just type in GameSer, you'll see GameSer and Nexus, and then you'll go ahead and download it here. I already have it open, so we're gonna pull it open right here, and now you can see we're already in to the software. So you can see we can mess around with basically anything as well as over at the top, you can mess around with the different types of profiles. You can see up here, you can just press M plus any of these buttons and you can switch between different profiles. Let's say if you have a preset set for, let's say a shooter game, a preset for a sports game, a preset for, I don't know, let's say a racing game, etc., etc. Now, there's a lot of things you can mess around with in terms of what I personally mess around with. There's only a select few. First of all, I tend to turn my vibrations off. Now, I know vibrations is a big thing. So in terms of vibration, you can see over here at the top, you can see that we can also turn on our trigger vibrations. But I usually tend to keep these off just because of personal preference when I play my shooter games like Call of Duty Warzone being my main game. Now in terms of the triggers, we can mess around with our dead zone settings here. Basically the way it works is the closer this bottom of the line is closer to zero on the X axis means that you will have the most minimum amount of force needed to activate. And we can easily mess around with them there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those back off. And you can mess around with all the different curves and hair trigger modes. I have it on adaptive. I also have my dead zones all at zero, especially for the triggers. You usually would want these to be towards zero. Um, in terms of motion, I usually don't mess around with this stuff too much. I would say stay away from it unless you know what, exactly what you're doing. As for the sticks, this is really important. Usually on both, same thing, the left and right stick, you're gonna want these initial dead zones over here to be at zero. If not at zero, then at one, no more, no less. I usually like to keep the stick trajectory on circle. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like with the sticks, you can see here that right now we have about one, maybe 2%. And I don't know if that's just maybe my luck of the draw with the sticks, but usually that one to two dead zone is not gonna make too much of a difference. Now I'll show you right here. If I progress a little bit to make it one, now my stick drift is now zeros. So this is what I mean when I say I want you to adjust it by one at the very minimum, just to get rid of that here and there out of the box, I guess short end of the stick type of, uh, type of drift that you get right out of the box. Now you can see that I'm at 0% all across the board, just from adjusting that one dead zone initial from zero to one, right? That just gives you an idea of the type of, I guess, quote unquote, stick drift that can come right out of the box. I guess I just got the short end of the stick, but this controller has still been working for me perfectly fine. Trust me, you will more than likely not notice that 1% of difference. And we'll go to right stick, same thing, right? So my right stick is actually better than my left stick in terms of out of the box um, overall zones. You can see here, I'm going all the way around and it goes right back to zero. So I actually get to keep my right stick dead zone over in the top left, you can see over here, all the way at zero. Now as for button remappings, these are the current mappings I have for my main game, which is Call of Duty Warzone. If you're curious, I have this extra mini button, button up here, or bumper, sorry, set as A, which is basically my melee, or to hold out to go to melee. I have my right bumper button set to Y, which is my plate or swap weapon. I have my back button over here, my L4 set to X, which is my interact and reload. And then my back right button over here set to uh, B, which in my case is actually the slide. You can see over here, there's also gonna be firmware updates in the top right if you never need to update that. As you can see here, I probably need to update mine right now, so I'll probably go ahead and do that now. And when you're back in the home page, this is everything you can see. Now, one thing to make sure that you do almost immediately when downloading the software is the first thing, go to the report right here and change it from 500 or 250 to whatever it is to 1000. This will change the native trigger vibration and it'll actually disable it just so it can make sure that we get the fastest input delay.